I'm a hands-on presence in all of my businesses. Aren't I, darling? Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> and he's very good with his hands. <laughs> and he's also wise and powerful. Unlike a lot of the other uh, powerful men who let the nuts and bolts of the operation be run by his managers. Managers? Like you? Mm -hmm. uh, WRCW, I call the shots. The only reason I'm visible right now is because Erica Kane is returning to the show she originally launched. The Cutting Edge. That's the one. But it was my understanding she was getting her own show. Uh, yes, just a temporary move. Until we see how the demands of motherhood weigh on Erica, you know, it would be risky to develop a show for someone with such a, a shoddy reputation. It would be irresponsible to put her on the air, especially if she was... Mm. Mm. Uh, sometimes, um, when, when, when Liza speaks, I, I look at her lips and... and... The inevitable happens. My dear child, your marriage must be quite stimulating. What? Well, it is. It, oh, yes, it, it, it is. Uh, uh, do, do you think maybe you could leave us now to, to continue this this uh, programming discussion? Uh, I think you've got enough foot, good footage for the Foundation. Oh, indeed, indeed. Thank you very much. Well, it's a wrap. Uh, What were you trying to pull in front of that camera? Get the boss? What were you trying to pull with that tip? You digging for my tonsil? I had to shut you up before you dis dis damaged the station's reputation and Erica's. Don't you ever kiss me like that again. But don't, don't you ever undercut my authority in public again. inevitable happens. <sighs> Dad, Liza didn't drive me out of town. I'm, I'm over her. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm real sure. I, I, I just projected these stupid fantasies of sailing around the world on love. <laughs> I don't know. I, I left med school because I just, I'd had it with it, you know? All the politics and the, the rules, the whole system, I just opted for a fairy tale, I guess, instead of reality. I know. I mean, it's burnout. I was a medical student myself once. Yeah. Well, the, I, I want to help people, Dad. I really do, like like you have. But that just seemed to take a back seat at med school. You know, I seemed to. Look, it's very easy to get caught up in the corporate mentality. You know, money, bottom line, all that kind of But it doesn't have to be that way. You can make a difference. You can save lives. Believe me, you can fight and you can beat diseases that were, that were death sentences only ten years uh, ago. I, I'd like to think so. I'm telling you, it is so. You've got a great deal to bring to medicine. You're compassionate, you're understanding, and you have a very good sense, a diagnostic sense. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And, uh, uh, by the way, we do happen to have a pretty good medical facility here in Pine Valley. Oh, well, I'm interning at you. <laughs> Hello, Easy Street. Mm. Never happened. Believe me, it'd be as tough on you as I uh -huh. would. In any, I would, uh -huh. in any, guaranteed. Promises, promises. Yeah. Now, well, believe me, the only break I would ever give you, I mean, if you were good, I, was an occasional invitation to a home-cooked meal. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, uh, you know, uh, Ruth still makes the best coffee cake in town. I know. Every Sunday, just like Kate. So, uh, what do you think? I mean, we got clean air, very nice people, nice coffee cake. Why don't you come home? Where's she? Where's Haley? Out on her, huh? She came back here to find the evidence, Tanner. Where is she? What evidence, man? Huh? All right. You're the pilot, you tell me. Why would you make an emergency landing with a perfectly good aircraft? 
Huh? There was no leak in the fuel tank. There was no problems with the radio. The only problems were the ones you created. You're losing it, Matt. No, you're, you're losing, losing it. it. You're losing it. You thought of everything, didn't you? Huh? You dumped the fuel. You screwed with the gauges. You stowed your little juice away with the drugs. Huh? And the alcohol. And then you brought it back here, didn't you? Look, that's not what happened, okay? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I know it, and Earl knows it. Earl? Who the hell's gonna believe anything Earl says? Huh? Well, he's not saying much these days, is he? But then again, you know that because you killed him, didn't you? Oh, yeah, Matt. Now, why did I kill Earl? Because he knew you raped Haley. That's not true, man. Haley wanted it. Didn't she tell you that in church? Huh? Yeah, she did. Until she started remembering what really happened. Huh? Oh. So she knew that you drugged her and that you raped her. <laughs> That's not true, man. Okay. I never had to. Haley wanted Yeah, and you know what? She knew it. And that's why she came back here, to find proof. And that's why you came back here. So, so you could find your proof and you could destroy the evidence. Now, look, Matt, you got it wrong, okay? Look, Haley's coming back here to meet me, okay? She wants to, to meet where the magic first happened. You're sick. You're crazy. You can't believe it, can you? You can't believe that I finally won the prize, can you, Matt? Huh? No. You can't. Well, it looks like the cave's seen a bit of action, huh? Is this how you do it, huh, Tanner? Is this how you win the prize, her drugs? Look, I never drugged her, okay? Haley was murdered. Then how'd this get here? How'd this get here? Hey, look, I don't know, man. Maybe it was a hiker, maybe it was a bunch of teenagers. You can't pin it on me, man. No, because I know about you. Oh, really? Yeah, you got busted for selling this stuff in Texas, didn't you? Oh, little drug pusher. Look, that is... Why don't you just stop spin doctoring and just face the facts, Matt? Haley prefers me to you, okay? You know, she's gonna be here very shortly. Maybe you should hang around. You can rest! <laughs> Great Mateo Sano says, right? Well, welcome to the real world, Matt. Okay? You don't want to do this. Tanner, we're, we're family. Come on, we trust each other. Not anymore, man. That's it. That's Come on, it. my family. They, they, they took you in like, like one of their own. Look, they just pitied a loser, okay? Because he didn't have no, a family of his own. Tanner, it, it Matt, like Grace, I'll buy you a first class ticket to heaven. All right? All right. Look. We cared about you. Hey, Tanner, we, we, my family, we, we all cared about you. No, man, you just felt sorry for a stray dog. You had to take me in off the street. No, no. I'm your friend. I, I'm your friend, Tanner. Look, it was you, man. It was you, okay? It was you always with your first prize of showing me up at school. You being the big college guy, huh? You had the big fancy club, man. You got this beautiful woman on your arm. Haley, Haley could have been mine, man. She could have been. She should have been mine, all right? No. That's just it. No, Haley loves me, Tanner. Never. <laughs> it's not yours. It's all in your head. Think about it, Tanner. It's all in your head. What's this going to get you, huh? Where's it going to get you? Put it down. It's over, Tanner. Just put it down. Put it down. <laughs> Thank you. 
busy as usual. I think. <laughs> oh, honey, hire more nurses. Yes. If wishes only were budgets. Oh, I caught up with Joey. And I think we had a good talk. Did you convince him to come home? Well, I tried. I'm not sure I got through to him. I never can tell with a hard-headed kid like that. Oh, Jake. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. I would be an idiot to walk away from what I really want. Which is? Which is this. This is what I want. I want to be a doctor. Not not because it's what's expected of me, but because it's, it's what I really need right now. <clears throat> now, you see? You see, we raised a wise man. Mm, mm. That I inherited. Yeah. <laughs> I can't figure out how you got to be so smart, old man. Well, it's one of the mysteries of nature. Mm -hmm. The older the kid, the wiser the parent. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, Mom. This prodigal son needs... A little bit of your world-famous coffee cake, pronto.
拜拜。